the election in Venezuela, the election in the United States. First, the easy part. Um, in Venezuela, there's a communist dictator uh, who is uh, really a poison in our hemisphere, Nicolas Maduro, who is a puppet of Russia and China, uh, who even has um, maybe doing a military base for Russia. Uh, uh, as we as you watch this, um, and he's got a credible challenger who I think will beat him if she's allowed to run, uh, Maria Karina Machado, and Joe Biden has been a um, pro-communist. Um, Joe Biden is not who he portrays himself to be. He's he's never once. Uh, spoken out about the fact that there are now five communist countries in Latin America, five, more than we've known our entire lives, right? Uh, Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua, unfortunately, my wife's Peru, and Colombia. Um, so there's a desire in my, on my part for a truly patriotic truly pro-democracy president, which is not Joe Biden. On the other hand, um, worse yet, uh, and I don't know that, it's it's weird how this fits in with uh, Ms. Machalo's need to survive. Um, does she realize <laughs> that Donald Trump is the worst enemy the world has ever had, uh, including Venezuela? He's his uh, theft of government secrets, taking them to Mar-a-Lago, leaving them where Russian spies doubtless have long since taken iPhone photos. You've seen the photos of where he left all of those secrets uh, partly in the bathroom at the country club Mar-a-Lago, accessible to Chinese and Russian spies. Can you imagine? They've been sitting on the bathroom at Mar-a-Lago, uh, and while they're going to the potty, they're taking iPhone photos of maybe uh, the people that have been rubbed out in Venezuela trying to fight the Maduro regime. Um, Trump is the worst. Um, and yet she, in desperation, I've noticed, has had to cling to... She, she, she's, she, Biden is a, uh, is a communist. He's on the side of Maduro. Uh, Biden is not a good leader. He's not a patriot. He is. Uh, we need to replace him. Uh, and um, so then if you look at uh, my suggested replacement is Senator Sheldon Whitehouse of Rhode Island, possibly Governor Gavin Newsom. Um, we've seen the deadlines are now expiring, maybe even to file, to run in um uh, New Hampshire, and this upstart, Dean Phillips, has, has decided to run. He's strangely backed by Steve Schmidt. I thought this this was a big hoax and even a con job by Harlan Crow. Uh, however, I've seen the uh, this question addressed and answered to my satisfaction by Dean Phillips. Um, I, I should try to attach it here. If, if I can get my hands on it, I will. But basically, he says that um, he's been dedicated in his uh, two terms, I think, as a as a congressman, to reforming the whole system of um, um, financing elections. And so, if it's true that he um, possibly solicited funds from Harlan Crow way back in 2018 uh, and not since. Uh, he's not sure, but if it's, if it, if it's true, uh, he, he's basically apologized and repudiated Harlan Crow. It's not maybe as badly as, as harsh or repudiated, but I, I just don't believe he's, he's hooked in with the Harlan Crow. And so um, 
um, could he, I'm going to reach out to him. I don't know if I'll get through to him. I'll reach out to his campaign because something's got to give. Joe Biden, uh, for, for, we've got to make sure that Donald Trump doesn't win. Uh, but I, I don't think, I don't see Dean Phillips the, the road to hell is paved with good intent. Somebody's got to challenge Biden, who is actually a true patriot, which Joe Biden is not. Just because Donald Trump is the worst of all leaders who's ever lived in the United States uh, and who is the enemy of democracy doesn't mean that Joe Biden has no major character flaws. Uh, um so I'm going to find out. I'm, I'm going to. Thanks for listening. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to reach out to the Dean Phillips campaign and try and figure out whether he has anything to offer.